What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of DDS. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today, my main objective is to basically just continue expanding our growing empire here. So in order to do that, judging by the map, if we want to unlock these three extra zones out there, we actually need to increase our rep pretty significantly in downtown, which... At first glance, seems like it would be pretty simple, but to be honest, it's a really, really small area, and there just aren't too many, like, strangers walking around, except for that building there and that lady there. Suddenly, there's just people? Okay, maybe it's not going to be that difficult, but we need a client base. We need to establish a client base out there, so anyone that has a question mark above their head, we basically just need to give them a little freebie, get them on board, and then we can start to distribute to them further. Can we hurry this up, man? I got places to be, so we're going to head back to the apartment. I can't imagine we have a whole lot of stuff to offer as a freebie. I think we might have, like, 2Gs of some MJ... And I know we have quite a bit of blue amp as well. So maybe we could just distribute a little bit of that. But I have some of this stuff. Still trying to be very cautious about what I call things. So let's grab two Gs of that. We also have to deliver to La Ballena yet again. So we'll grab that. And then I guess I'm just going to dump the rest of this. Because I'm never going to grow this strain again. And then let's get maybe six... G's of the blue amp here. Next, while I'm thinking about it, we should probably place a new order with Eggward for La Ballena. So we're just going to drag that in there for four honey G's. There we be. That's 10,000 buckaroonies. Place that order with him. We will also deliver the Skrilla, which reminds me, I completely forgot. I'm going to get a little bit extra so we can stop at the money laundering location. But I completely forgot in the previous episode to pick up our money from Lil John's safe over there. We did give him a little bit of our product. So we should have like $3,400 sitting over there waiting for us. Let's deliver our money to you, sir. Thank you very much. And we will be on our way. Next stop is going to be Lil John. Yeah, my dude. Actually, we don't have to talk to you at all, do we? We just have to get our Skrilla from your safe. Did it actually... Okay, it did get deposited. Good deal. And then now we're going to make our way back to the money laundering location. There is one just up the street from us here. So let's let's try a new spot. Why not, right? We just have to keep 10,000 bucks. Or no, we already we already did that. Okay, we don't have to keep any additional money then. We could put all this in if we really wanted to. I'm just going to do 10,000. That way we still have a little bit in our back pocket. There we go. Speaking of back pocket, we're going to slide that blue amp over. That way, once we do go through the police checkpoint back over into Sector B, uh, hopefully they don't find the things and stuff or whatever. Hey, buddy. Stand still, please. I've got nothing on me. I promise. Yo, we need a duffel bag. We need a bigger bag, too. I might do a little, little shopping today while we're at it. Clean. You know, we're in downtown. Makes sense, right? Hey, buddy. Um, would you like a free sample? Maybe just one of those? Yeah? 50 respect? That's pretty good. Let's see if we can find anyone else. It kind of seems like maybe there aren't as many people walking around at night. Or maybe there aren't any people walking around at night, period. Got some cops over there. Yo, where'd all the people go now? There was just the one guy. And then that's Sector C. I don't think we're quite ready to go over there yet we probably need to you know unlock the rest of the downtown district here that's our guy going into his little apartment there so he's probably the only one i killed a little bit too much time i guess well let's do our shopping at the very least what's going on jamie i need a little bit of lab equipment from you we need one dryer and probably just two metal containers i can't imagine we're going to need much more than that but we're going to send this Right on over to our new hideout over here in Sector B, which is the small abandoned house. Speaking of which, there is a garage over there that I think we can lockpick. Wait, 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 dude, bro. Uh, okay, I guess you're not interested in things right now. It's fine, that's fine, but there is a little garage door 
that I think we can lockpick. And I'm just really curious. Like, it's attached to our house, so I'm not sure if it's ours, per se. But we're going to try to lockpick this thing, see if it's hiding any secrets inside. It probably isn't. It's just dirt. Additionally, we have these little doors over here that I think are just like storage units. There's probably not anything that good in there. Usually it's like an empty water bottle and some spray paint cans. Hi, cops. Um, I'm going to go into my house now. And we're going to set up a little uh, a little sum sum. A little bit of equipment in here. First, we're going to place the dryer. We'll just put that over in that back corner. And then we only need two of those. So these we're only going to be filling... You guys, you got this is just ridiculous. You can't be staking out out front of my place. That's just weird. Um, so we're only going to be using those um, canister things or jars for this stuff. You know what I mean by stuff. But it looks like our 1G distribution thing that we just did got us up to 45 um, respect out there or, or reputation, whatever you want to call it, in downtown, which is fantastic news now. Courtesy of the Psychedelic Dude Bro Bras, we do have three new substances at our disposal. So all we have to do is unlock those bad boys, and we're ready to rock. All right, back at the apartment. I think we should probably do some deliveries. I've already put away my uh, little, you know, samples that we had. So let's try to do a little bit of this. I think we can cover you on that, and I think we can cover you on that. That's going to be our, our two dealers there. And we've got quite a few orders here with just regular old run-of-the-mill clients. Should I just go through and accept everything? I mean, oh, see, this is something we don't have yet. We do have this, though. Charlie Doritos, we got you covered, brother. And then we've got that as well. Donald, sure, I guess we can do that. And lastly, Gino. Okay, sweet. Let's get all the things, and then we will make our way around town. Camille, what's going on? You're going to be our first client for tonight anyways. You need a little bit of this. Still just trying to say this or that. It's just the easiest way. All right, where are we heading off to next? Most everyone is over by the Two Towers area, which is kind of strange. I can't say that happens very often. You needed this, and then one of these. There you go. Enjoy that or whatever. Level 37. That's cool. Dude, I'm expecting a phone call again from Eggward any day now. Literally any day now. You needed all of that. And then next, we've got somebody right behind this wall. Looks like right over here. This can be Gino. What's going on, my man? You needed... Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Wait. That's not even the proper amount. What am I smoking? Johnny White? How's it hanging? Or whatever? You needed all of that one. Perfect. Next up, we've got another. Oh, that's right. We have two Leons now. And then Charlie Doritos is over there as well. Actually, let's let's be smart about this. We can just go around this thing. I always forget that. I, I always want to go over the um, dirt mound right there. But you really don't have to. So we've got Charlie. Same spot as per usual. You needed all of that. There you go. You're welcome. Enjoy that and stuff and things or whatever. Can't fit through the gap. All right. Where are we off to next? I think we had another person right over here somewhere. Check the map. Yeah, literally dead ahead. We're going to go this way. <laughs> We're going to go this way. I think I can talk to him from behind the fence. Absolutely. I'm just going to chuck this over the fence to you, brother. There you are. Our dead drop is also available, so we are going East Old Town. Unfortunately, don't have any clients over there at the moment. But we'll go scoop that up, and then we'll make our way to our drop spot for La Ballena. Up and over. Is it? Oh, it's this guy. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Is that all of it? Why do I feel like I got the wrong amount? I think I'm good. Might just be tripping. Okay, it's officially police hours, so we are going to have to be a little bit more careful here. 
let's head into the apartment. We'll get this, you know, broken up into the proper amounts and things. And then we can go deliver it. First up, we've got Gino. I did bring your stuff this time. I made sure that I had it before I left the apartment. So there you be. And next... Yeah, where are we going here? Donald. Okay, Eastern Slums. And then Gang Delivery is going to be the same place as it used to be. About time, dude. We've been, like, running all over the place for Lumbayena. And every, every time it seems like our delivery spot is, is different. So... This puts us a little bit closer to the eastern slums. We're just going to bring all of this to this big shipping container. Drag it all over. Make sure that is the proper amount. And there we go. Nani boy. Hey, man. I have your things. And then last but not least, we've got one more person. Clear out in the stank. What's going on, brethren? We have all your things as well. And that is our last client, our guest dealer, more specifically, for tonight anyways. So, let's make our way back to probably our Sector A apartment, our, our main apartment. And we'll get in contact with Gustavo, tell him the deed is done. Then we can make our way back into Sector B, there's some cops, and we can pick up our payday. You know, trapping like this is great, because we are making quite a bit of money. However... We still really haven't done much uh, to accomplish our, our main goal here today of sort of expanding our criminal empire. So, I think what I'm going to do now is head back into our Sector B property right here. And uh, we're just going to wait around. I, I'm quite literally just going to sit here and wait. Our crops could actually be growing during this time as well, so I should probably make sure they're... Plenty hydrated. The next morning. Now that the police hours have officially been lifted, we're first going to make our way over to... I honestly can't remember his name, but I just know that he sells bags and or backpacks. And he should be right over here, kind of by the bar, if I remember right. Yeah, this guy. What's your name? Jay, that's right. Hey, Jay, I need a duffel bag from you, sir. $200. Okay. Sounds good. Go ahead and accept that. That is all I need for right now. Thank you, sir. Now let's go back. Or oh, wait, there's a person. Okay, let's go back to Sector A apartment. And then we need to get our free samples. Yo, peep the new bag, dude. We have so much more space now using the duffel bag. Uh, let's get these from here. Okay, there's an easier way to do that. There we go. Just got to pick up all of our samples. We'll head back over into Sector B, specifically downtown, and we'll start handing stuff out. Hopefully this rain isn't going to keep people inside. I'm kind of thinking it might, though. Let's put this in our back pocket so we can just walk right on through. Ain't no thing. They always ask me if I'm carrying any things or weapons. And I haven't ever had the opportunity to buy a weapon in this game yet. Maybe it'll happen eventually. You look like you could use... 1G of, of that thing. Dude, there's nobody. It is a ghost town again. Every time. Every time I have samples on me, nobody's around wanting the samples. So I'm going to, instead of bringing these back and forth from uh, Sector A to Sector B, I'm just going to place these in our Sector B apartment. Probably a smarter idea. Our rep has increased now from 45 to 90. So we, we're progressing, but very, very slowly. So, we're going to get in touch with some of our dealers, see what they have to say. Mainly money, for the most part. But we do have two of them that are requesting some things. Which we're now going to have to go back over to Sector A just to grab. This is going to get pretty old, I feel like. You know, going back and forth like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to hide out in the apartment for a little while until the weather sort of dies down. But in the meantime, we can check in with our money laundering location. We should have a decent amount. Oh, dude, that's big time. 8,200 bucks, that brings us up to 13 Gs in total. Next upgrade is only 4,000. That's gonna be a small casino slash hotel. Pretty cool spot. And then only 3,000 for the next one. Oh, there's also a minimum level requirement as well. I didn't really notice that at first. Okay, let's do let's do one more. That's going to bump us up to 55% return rate, which would be very, very good. So now it's a casino, hotel, 
concert stage with a burlesque? Sure, I'm just gonna pretend like I know what that is. All right, I went ahead and placed a smaller order with Eddie there, just for some stuff that we're kind of lacking. MJ, and then I think X as well. We're gonna make a quick delivery here to Jade out in sector B. All righty, good deal. Okay, let's head back to our apartment here. On, on this side of town, I mean. We'll grab our little samples, and then hopefully we can just run around and try to find some people. It looks like there's a few, but every time I see them, they're like going inside their apartment. They just completely disappear. We got one guy, but there are cops everywhere. Hey, buddy, can we make this like really, really fast? Don't walk that way. Don't walk that way. I've got... Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, don't want it. I forgot to put him. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. I forgot to put him in my pockets. If they would have searched me, they would have found it. Okay, I'm going to just crouch in the corner. Dang it. Completely, completely ruined that. Okay, let's try this again now, but this time as a fugitive. Seems like a much better idea, right? Is this the same guy? Hey, you might actually be the same person. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, I clicked I clicked the wrong thing. You understand. Uh, I just wanted to give you that. And then this guy over here. Hey, buddy, don't get too close to that police checkpoint because I'm not really allowed to go through those at the moment. You know, being a wanted uh, fugitive. Hey, no? Okay. That's cool. What about you, ma'am? No. It's only the people that have the question marks above their head like this guy convenient of you to join us we have this for you any other takers oh level 38 already dude leveling up twice hey buddy uh i've got just the thing you look like you look like you could use a little bit of that being a fugitive walking around as a fugitive really sketches me out so we're gonna go back in our little apartment here and uh we're just gonna hang out for a little while our rep has now increased to 225 so we are making progress now officially this one requires 500 respect this one's 650 that one is six honey i'm trying to make my way out to anna right now because she has a little bit of cash for us but there are cops everywhere and since i'm a fugitive i can't go through the police checkpoint now so we're you can't fit into the manhole bring a small or medium backpack oh no oh no Hey, you know what? That's actually cool because we could just drop this duffel bag. There's nothing in it. Everything we have is in our... Oh, no, there is some stuff in it. Can we carry this? No. We could just we could just leave it, right? We'll just leave it back behind this Jeep. Just drop the backpack or the duffel bag straight up. There we go. All right, now we can go just collect some cash, right? That should be able to fit in our back pocket i would think oh no i just had a sudden realization we don't have any bobby pins now dude this is so scuffed this is so scuffed that's fine it's fine we don't actually have to oh and there's cops right there i'm just gonna climb out anyways because why not right nothing to see here cops we got our duffel bag we'll be on our way <clears throat> mic check, mic check, mic check. Mic check. <clears throat> mic check, mic check. I'm kind of hoping that Anna's going to wait up for us at least for a little while. But in the meantime, we're going to hang out here in this apartment. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our pockets. There we go. So what is that going to do? Gives us a little bit of extra space. Still can't put a water bottle in it for whatever reason. Those items could all go in. Okay, we might be able to do this then. I don't even need this key. I don't know why I keep bringing it around with me everywhere I go. We'll leave the water here since we only water things at this location. And we'll bring all that Skrilla. And actually, we could just drop the, the duffel bag right here. Probably a little bit safer being in our apartment than just out in the world. We've got our next dead drop available, which is good because we have to start delivering to some of our clients. 
Um, Anna is going to be right around the bridge here, so we'll sneak right around. And then, thankfully, we're no longer a fugitive, which is good. Because, as I mentioned, that just really sketches me out. I hate running around like that. Oh, yeah, she's just got some money for us. Sweet. 620 buckaroonies. And then, dead drop? I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this in our pockets, but we're definitely going to try. Where are we going? Oh, perfect. Never mind. We got to go back into Sector B anyways. That's where our duffel bag is. This dead drop looks to be in the cemetery. What did that say? Cemetery trash bin. So, this one? This one. The middle one. Yo, which one is it? It's this one. Okay. So, we just, okay, dropped that. Honest mistake, but it's all good. I think we can find that. There we go. I'm going to jump and hold B. Oh, the duffel bag's a little bit trickier. Little bit trickier here. Jump and hold B. Stop. Stop. No. Please. God, no. Every time. This is exactly why I never try to do that. Can you? Oh. I did save. I did save, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna reload that save. The next day. I'm gonna try to stand on this guardrail, maybe give myself a little bit more height. And we're gonna chuck that duffel bag over. Perfect. Okay. We did have to go pick up the dead drop once again, but that's not a big hey, deal. You. Stop right there. Yeah, hey, what's going on? I got don't nothing on me. We tase you, buddy. I don't even think we really need to be having this conversation right now. I, we've seen each other so many times i mean so many times you should just kind of know that i'm a, a generally a good person or something like that we're gonna get this duffel bag and be on our way after putting all those things away uh, la Bayena has hit us up once again but he's not expecting this delivery until tuesday it's only thursday right now so i think we should have plenty of time to tackle that i, I just don't really want to you know worry about doing that at the moment. My main focus is getting our downtown rep increased, but now it's going to be police hours. We're just going to be sitting around on our hands some more. Not ideal. I guess we do have quite a few deliveries to be made, so maybe we'll do that in the meantime. I really, really love how much faster our wait time is in our Sector B apartment versus our original apartment. Police hours are lifted. I'm going to go ahead and save once again. I got about a dozen uh, little 1G samples that hopefully... Oh, and it's raining again. Hopefully we're going to be able to distribute out here. Okay, that's kind of his fault though, right? Kind of his fault. I don't want to feel too guilty about that, even though we're the one that gave him the stuff. But that's one client down. Good. Good. You look like you need a little sample of something that probably... Probably won't kill you again probably not not 100 percent certain on that okay nobody else over here what about head banging dude right there you need a little some some nope all right we've got just one person so far dude i'm just continuing to strike out here i guess let's head back to the apartment and we'll just wait around a bit more real bummer though about charlie i mean let's be honest he had the coolest last name charlie doritos doesn't get much better than that. All right, it is 9 a.m. Surely, two hours have passed. Surely there's gonna be someone walking around. You, sir, do you need anything? No, okay, that's fine. But this guy, this guy needs some stuff. Very cool hat, I guess. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. You know what's probably a much faster way of building our rep? Spray paint. Dude, why didn't I think of that until just now? That's what we did for like every other area. So let's just go ahead and leave our little sample baggies here on our table. We'll come back for them later, maybe. And then I don't have any spray paint at the moment, but I remember there being like a little stash somewhere. Let's head down this alleyway. I think, I think in between these two buildings here, there should be a little can of spray paint that we can just take one of these no this one there we go how much you got it one we got one spray paint can good for just one spray somebody else out here might sell it maybe jay 
I guess. Is that? Nope, that's a guitar. Looked like a spray paint can from far away. Dre, Jay, do you have um the things? You do have the things. There aren't a ton of spots to spray paint in downtown, so I'm just going to get two additional cans. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I'm good, Jay. Thanks for all your help, brother. So let's head into downtown once again. And we're going to start marking up some of these walls. I guess let's do this one. Doesn't seem like there are too many cops around, but hopefully this gets us to that 500 respect that we need out in this area. There's an additional 60. Good deal. Let's spray paint in here. Moving across the street. We're going to spray paint right between these two windows. We got to mark up every possible wall that we can because, as I mentioned, they're just... There aren't too many places that we can actually spray here. Is that cop gonna notice us? Probably not. Should be fine. All right, what are we up to now? There it is, 526. How many, we've got three sprays remaining. We might as well use them up. This is gonna be the last one and we'll see how many respect we've actually earned from doing this. Hopefully it's enough to like unlock all three of those new locations. That, oh, that was supermarket area. Dang it. Okay, 688 though for downtown. I think that's plenty. If I remember right, I think all we really needed was like 650. But let's go back into our apartment and we will check on that. You bet your sweet bippy. All right, construction site unlocked. West Dead Town unlocked. Mid Dead Town unlocked. And now we've got East Dead Town, Tower Blocks, and then Factory South, which I believe is going to lead us into what they're calling Sector C. We can actually improve our pricing as well now. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about these prices. Dude, we can just charge a tremendous amount of money for this right there. I did disable the three new things that we got from the Psychedelic Dude Bro Bras just because I don't think we're quite ready for that. But we'll get there, don't you worry. Wait, what is this? We've managed to set up a new hideout. Might be easier for you to deliver the cash. Marked it on your map. Huh? Okay. Well, we got a phone call coming in from Edward. Hey, what's up, man? Maybe he's got something, special got something to say about that. I got you a hideout on the other side of the big tunnel. Sector, Sector C, C baby. Included, so they should let you pass like a legit citizen. Now, smuggling dope to that area will be a bit more tricky. You gotta find ways in and out, you know what I mean? Send you more info you know what I mean? Shady. Over and out. All right. All right. Sick, dude. Oh, this is cool. This is really, really cool. So, let's see. Okay, I'll ping it on your phone. Yada, yada, yada. First go to the laundry at downtown and meet my friend. We know where that is. We've seen that before. They smuggle stuff below the wall. Somehow. LOL. Second, you might be able to find a passage to the stink through the chemical plant at Factory South. Looks like the complex isn't fully cut off, so it's a weak spot of the wall. Sniff around, ask around, find a way. Dude, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Let's check on our plants really quick. Yeah, gotta water them. Gotta stay on top of this, dude, if we want... Oh, no water. If we want a, a good harvest. All right, so Sector C, as I said, or even as Eddie said, is this little tunnel. <laughs> little, it's huge. This tunnel over here with the dude standing out front of it. I have tried to go through that once before, and he wasn't going to let me because I didn't have paperwork. But now Eddie has us hooked up with the paperwork, so we should be good to go. And then this guy right here is the laundry guy that's supposed to smuggle stuff in there for us. And I hate to be this guy, you guys. I hate to be this guy, but I feel like that is, is something we need to say for its own episode. So I think that's where we're going to wind this one down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.